everyone, it's Jaden from the Loom Lab and I'm showing you today how to make my brand new 3-pin fishtail bracelet, inverted 3-pin fishtail bracelet, sorry, um, and it's a brand new design, um, I've literally just invented it and I thought the first thing I need to do is definitely post a video, and I think uh, this is a really, really cool uh, new design and I'm really excited to show it to you. So the things you're going to need are 3 pins, I'm going to use a rainbow loom, but you can use a monster tail, um, just anything basically with three pins. Even um, I, when I didn't have, I was a couple of days ago. I was um, up with my uh, cousins, and I forgot to take my rainbow loom. And we ordered pizza, and they, we had um, this usually those things uh, that separate the cheese and uh, the top of the box, and that had three pins. And I made it on there, and. Um, it worked. It was ex it like it made it exactly fine, um, but I'm gonna use a rainbow loom because I think if I got a pizza topper out, it would be a bit weird. Um, but I'm gonna show you how to make it. You're gonna need an S or C clip, bands, a rainbow loom hook. I'm gonna use a metal one, and uh, your contraption. So let's get started. The first thing you're going to do is you need to place figure of eight bands. So you're going to take your first one and make a figure of eight just like that. Take your second, actually, I think it will be easier if you use colours that have nothing to do with your actual pattern. So I'm going to use black and just make figure of eights because I think when you make it, because it's inverted and you have to do something different, when you pull through it makes it easier to find different colours. So I've just done different another blacker black like that and I'm going to do another one like that. So now I've done black like that. That's what it should look like. And we're going to get our first colour and place it over all three pins. Like that. And get our second colour and place it over all three pins. Then you're going to take your hook and take the bottom two bands, so these are these two bands, and take it over the top. The bands that were different colours, so mine is black. Take it over and over like that. So there's, you've just hooked over two bands on each of the pegs, that they're the ones that you made the figure of eights with. You're then going to get your next colour, so mine's going to be purple, and you're going to place it over all three pins like that. And you're going to hook over, so take the bottom over the top again. There we go. Then we're going to get our next colour, so I'm going to use orange and take it over all three pins, just like that. And you're going to hook the bottom again. So it's just this same simple process that you keep doing. You're just going to place a band over all three pins and then hook the bottom band over. So I'm going to start again with my colours. I'll show you one more time um, after this. I think I used pink. So you're going to place it over all three pins like that. And then you're going to take the bottom over the top. So you're going to carry that on only for a little bit. You don't need to do it for a massive amount of time. I'm only going to do it for about another four or five uh, times because um, this bit um, isn't actually inverted, so it's not the signature part of the bracelet. So, you, But you have to do it to start off with. Um, but just carry on doing this uh, for about another three or four times and then you'll be done. I'm just going to fast forward. So this is what's happened now, so there's um, a bracelet coming out the bottom there. This is what it's going to look like. So that is what it's going to look like. Um, I've just made that so I can show you how to finish it. But that's what it's going to look like. And now I'm going to show you how to make this inverted. So this bit is the trickiest bit of the whole bracelet. 
this is what kind of makes it not uh, from a easy to an intermediate level design. Um, and it's quite hard, but if you see those colours that you did it different, so mine are black, you need to put your hook through that channel, just down the middle of the bracelet, down there, and it'll come out the bottom, and you're going to grab as many of those bands as you can, so as many of those black bands as you can. You don't have to grab all of them, I'm just going to grab about two or three. So I've got them now, and I'm going to take them through, and bring them up like that. And it kind of, it like, explodes through the top like that. Just make sure that the bands don't come off the pegs. But just push through and it'll come like that. It'll all be a massive mess. Like, that's just a massive mess at the moment. But if you just pull that black, uh, the black band or whatever colour yours is, just keep pulling at it. It will come through eventually. And once it's all come through, it's still going to look like a mess like that. But then you need to locate the black bands or just pull on that black band that you have and there we go. So now I can see those black bands. So now you're going to grab those three black bands that was, so grab the three and take it up. And now the bracelet has become inverted. So as you can see, that is what it's going to look like. And now you're going to just carry on doing that. You're just going to carry on doing what you were doing before. I'll just show you with this band here. You're going to place it over all three pegs. This time you're going to have to keep going around this thing. The bit coming out. You're going to place it over all four. And you're going to take your hook. And you're going to hook over the bottom. So over over and over but I don't need to show you that now but that is how you do it so now I'm going to show you how to finish the bracelet so I can just take this off like that and this is how we're going to finish the bracelet so I've uh, done this that long uh, and I think that's um, how far I'm actually just going to leave I think I'm just going to leave it as that um, it's quite small but I'm just going to leave it as that for this tutorial. Um, so now what you're going to do to finish the bracelet is once you've got it as long as this, that's what it's going to look like. Ooh, there we go. That's what it's going to look like. And uh, to finish it off, it's really simple. There's actually two ways you can do it. I'm going to show you, I think, the easiest way um, to do it. And I think it, um, it's the nicest way to do it as well. So you're going to take a rubber band, whatever colour you want. I'm going to use black. And you're going to place it over all three pins again. Make sure to go underneath the uh, actual bracelet that's coming through. And then place it over the three bands like that. So then you just have a triangle on top, like just like that. And then you're going to grab your hook and instead of just taking one layer of band, you're going to take two of the layers. So you're going to take both all of the layers of bands that are before the black over. So I'm going to take those two there, over the top, those two there, over the top, and over to the side, those two there over the top so now you're just left with one band left on each of the three pins like that you're just going to gather them all over to one so I'm going to do it to this front pin so uh, you can all see so I'm just going to take it with my uh, hook like that stretch it oh sorry about that you're just going to stretch it over I'm going to switch it over like that, let go from there, and this one I need to take over. Be careful not to lose that band there. So I've just done it like that, and now you are literally just going to add your C-clip to there. So I'm going to pull it all out to the next peg, 
and I've attached my S clip on the other side. But I'll just attach it here first. There. So we're going to take it off the loom now. You can take it off the loom. And give it a nice tug like that. And on this side, there's just going to be uh, some, there's going to be three bands, just three like kind of rogue bands. Um, you don't have to get all three because like my third one's just there. I've only got two, but it looks neat. You're just going to grab them two, put them in your fingers and hook it to the other side. And then there is your inverted three pin fishtail bracelet. Um, I hope you like this design. It's a brand new design made by me, um, the Loom Lab. And I really hope you like it. Give it a thumbs up if you like it. Comment below um, if you have any suggestions or anything. And remember to subscribe because I do make new videos every Tuesday and Friday. Um, and I really hope you like it. Thanks everyone for watching. See ya.